Got to change the timers on those lights, 6 a.m. And they're still on. So, uh, sun's coming up earlier and going down later. Uh, good news last night, um, or late afternoon, early evening, PPP loan went through. So, for all you guys that gave me the input and gave, kept me striving at it, Cabbage. Cabbage.com, K-A-B-B-A-G-E, was the one who uh, finally came through. So, they say five to ten days it'll be in my business banking account. That's a, a blessing from God. And uh, you have to use 75% of it within eight weeks um, towards your payroll. So I'm just going to show that it went towards my typical, what my loads would have been paying me. And they're not paying me right now. So let's hope this economy gets back in, in the right foot. But that's a blessing to know that um, it actually went through. Um, and then I was also going to say, Wells Fargo, what you guys are doing, man. You're a huge bank. I have all my business accounts with you. And all you did was send me the same email about 12 times saying that uh, you have extremely high call volume and you're working on it until it all depletes. Then you'll let me know that it's all gone. <laughs> so thank you so much for having Cabbage be out there. On Deck did pretty good, but they never came through. And uh, Blue Vine, I never really got through the process as far as I, I could have. But Cabbage, I was. And after they got my uh, articles of organization and um, all my Schedule C and stuff, they that half a day they were like okay you're funded I'm like great so i'm gonna get to my truck get over to atlanta and uh get this day going atlanta here we are about 9 15 in the morning it says take this next right here i've never been here before so we shall see Warehouse to my right, there's just coverage with trees, or I don't know what it is actually. I've never been here with the warehouse or distribution center or manufacturer. Who knows? But it looks like we've crossed some train tracks here. All right, all right, and then what do we do? South Meadow, that's the street I need. I'm right off of uh, Camp Creek Parkway. It's like uh, Parkway 6 is the number four. A lot of people have probably been here before. Let's see if it says no trucks. It does not say no trucks, so I guess this is where we're going. All right, all right. I'm sure some of you guys have been here before. This place is pretty big. But we are in Atlanta, and we've got a couple brokers trying to call us, see if we got anything working for today. It's 9.15, I got a 9.30 appointment. It looks like, yeah, this is it. So I'm gonna get in here, see where I'm dropping these pallets at. All I have is brand new pallets, like uh, remanufactured ones. So they're obviously gonna be uh, putting them on something else. And then we'll see if we're heading back home. Maybe I'll get one to Florida. They haven't been there in a while. But this is where I'm going. It looks like there's a bunch of places. So I gotta get into my rate confirmation and see which one I'm going for. Okay, let's get unloaded.
Those are the loads for today as of 9 a.m. And that picture um, is the pallets. There's a bunch of blue empty pallets stacked to the brim to the top, about 40,000 pounds usually. Um, but volumes are definitely up. There's a lot more loads out there. Um, you can see even on that map I do, that's just for today, all those loads. And then um, every single load board or load app has a lot more loads available. So I'm going to stick to my uh, price today. I might not get to something until late, but when there's a lot of loads like that, people start needing to move stuff. So let's pray it's up on the upturn. Start making some money out here again and getting paid what we're worth. I'm getting unloaded already, so it should be pretty quickly. Uh, I'm going to keep looking for loads. Come back to you when I get one. Here, Corey, I didn't know if you wanted to be on video or not, man, but I just had a good conversation with him. He's kind of talking about the load boards again and getting back on DAT. And he's got some good points that you can um, get on there for their free trial for a month after you've been in business for a while. Because like we were both talking, when you first start as a new authority, these brokers, small brokers won't mess with you. Uh, they won't talk to you. And I should probably get back in my truck and take that spot right there. But it's a gamble. Let's see. Let's go back and get it. If it's still available, because by the time I get to my truck and start up, the other guys will jump in there. But we'll see if we got it. And Corey was looking out for my truck anyways. He's like, don't worry about it, but you kind of don't want to be parked right here in the middle. But um, let's see if I can get in there. <clears throat> yeah, going back to the low boards, get set up with um, after being in business for a while, because these, a lot of these brokers won't touch you the first 90 days, first um, year sometimes, so. And also when you get in there, but yeah, just get set up with the DAT, like he was saying, and then just start calling all these uh, brokers, the small ones, and getting the carrier packets set up with them. So at least they know who you are and they'll call you and uh, if you're in the area, get you alone. So big shot to Corey. Nice talking to you, man. I'm gonna move my truck and we got a load uh, going to Charlotte for 900. So that's pretty good. And I gotta go pick it up at three o'clock. So, all right, let's get this truck moved. See if I still get this spot. But we did get the spot. I'm not going to be here that long. I'm just going to get some Wendy's over here. And uh, it's about 11, 11.30 right now. So picks up at 3 o'clock. And Stone Mountain's about 32 miles on the other side of Atlanta. And I'm going over to Charlotte. But it doesn't deliver till tomorrow. So I'll be able to go home see these babies. Or actually, I'll see them in the morning probably. If I don't get hit by a car. But uh, over at the QT again. Fulton, southwestern side of Atlanta. But yeah, Corey, big shout out to you, man. Thanks for all your help. Thanks for all your comments. Uh, good seeing you now, twice now at the QT. We like this one. We hang out together. Okay, let's get some food. every day. The uh, Lamborghini at Wendy's. Yeah, on the truck stop. There's my trailer right there. been here before quick run to charlotte tomorrow i can deliver at 1 p.m uh, 900 bucks um jb hunt uh broker called me said hey can you still pick this up i said sure all right 4601 so we're getting close there you go roger foods i see it up on the left wonder what they make but yeah quick run to charlotte uh Volumes are definitely coming up, so hold for your rates. And hopefully it comes back a little bit back to normal so we can uh, make a living out here again. Get loaded up here on the left. See if they'll load me early, because my appointment's not until three, but the broker said, when can you get there? And I said, oh, I could be there in about 30 minutes. So looks tight, let's see what we got.
coming up. It's a, it's a, it's a store or something. Uh, either grocery store or wherever it is. Anyways, um, both guys are waiting for him to get there. Should be there about 5.30 for the first stop. And they close at 7. And the guy at the second stop is going to wait for me. So that's cool. Get it off the truck tonight. I have just enough hours on my ELD to get there. So it looks like it's all going to work out. And uh, it's nice when it does that because I'll have the truck free for tomorrow. But um, that's it. That's it for today. 900 bucks. So um, from 6 p.m. last night when I picked this pallet load up till 6 p.m. tonight, that was an easy 1400 bucks. So that's great. And I got my PPP approved. So things are looking like they're okay right now. Um, and shout out to Corey again for talking to me at QT today. And uh, we will see you again tomorrow. And I'm going to go get this loaded. All right, guys. God bless and have a great night.